What's good? I'm Deontay. You may know me as Deontay. I'm Lindsay. I'm the one that keeps going to prison. I'm Deontay. Oh no, looks like Deontay has not learned his lesson. You guys remember Deontay, right? He's the guy who gave some girl in prison $30,000 to buy ramen noodles, and then she got out, hooked up with her ex-boyfriend, and married her ex-girlfriend. <laughs> if you haven't seen part one of this, I'll put the link in the description. All right, let's see what Deontay's up to now. I'm Deontay. I'm the one that keeps going to prison. I was with Scott, the guy with the big lip, and scratched obscenities into his desk. That's great. That's that's what she's known for. Imagine being known for that. I dated a guy with a big lip and scratched obscenities into his desk. I guess that's the type of person Deontay's heart desires. I'm Deontay. All right, we've covered that. Move. Let's, we get it. I guess Deontay watched the season that she was on and saw her destroying some guy's office, and he's like, oh yeah, that's a life partner right there. I'm definitely going to call her. Because yes, it wasn't enough that Deontay was already on the show. Now he's with somebody who was previously on the show, and it was an absolute disaster. Was that necessary? F*** you. Okay. If I had to bet right now, that's why I think Lindsay will end up back in prison at some point. How could any of this possibly go wrong for Deontay? I can't imagine. Well, we're all gonna find out in this video, but first I need to backtrack a little bit because more happened between he and Nicole since the last video. Deontay thought it would be a good idea to crash Nicole and Tia's wedding, and it's one of the most incredible things I've ever seen. I got the thought in my mind, do I need to go to this wedding? Say what? Like, Evidence. did I just hear that correctly? What? That makes no sense. And you just told me you were over her, so. How the f you over her if you gonna go to her wedding? I love how taken aback he is by this. Like, geez, what's going on with you? Look, I know that I gave her half my income and she cheated on me multiple times and now she's getting married to somebody else, but I think the love is still there. She doesn't just love me because I have money. She loves me because I give it to her. Do you not get it? Do you not understand at this point? I just need to give her more money. As a friend, what you gonna be a groomsman, a bridesmaid? You might as well put on a dress. That sound dumb as Oh man, you really think she would let me do that? I was thinking, you know, I was gonna call her and ask about this. It's like I got different voices in my head. Uh-oh. It's like one of them is like, Nicole is getting married to Tia and it's best for me to move on. Well, listen to that one because that one is correct right there. That's, that's what we want to hear. The other voice in my head is like, Hey, Deontay, you should go watch Wedding Crashers with Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn and then show up to their wedding and hide under a tree. Given these two options, which one do you think Deontay chooses? What, what would be more likely? What is more in his character? What do you think? It seems like she got herself into a situation and she wanted me to come save her. For some reason, I care about the girl. I don't know why. I don't know why either. Nobody knows why. I'll never know why. It's one of the big mysteries of humanity. It's one of the wonders of the modern world. She has shown absolutely no interest in him at any point, and I cannot stress that enough. Like, zero interest whatsoever. And I don't know why. Deontay's not bad. When she got out, what the did y'all really share? I shared money. Nothing. Only thing that you shared was your damn debit card swiping it, mother. Yeah, and we made some great memories doing that, and I miss her, okay? She's different when it's her and me versus when Tia is there. The thing is, she was already cheating on him with somebody other than Tia before this, so I, I have no idea why he brings this up. So he's basically saying things were better when she was cheating with somebody else. Like, you know, things were good when she was cheating with that dude. Now, now everything's been ruined. And I just want you to get past this, please. I ain't gonna go there with no hostility, mom. I'm gonna go there. But you're a going there a for little a bit. A little bit of hostility. Just a little bit. I'm not going there with any hostility. I'm just gonna punch her wife in the head. Nicole clearly wants someone to show up and hide under a tree and then sweep her off her feet. She wants a knight in shining armor, and I'm gonna be that person. So obviously, Deontay did not listen to his friend or his mother, and now he's gonna go crash the wedding. He's all hyped up. As you can see here, he's recreating the scene from Home Alone. I'm stunting. I'm putting work, and it ain't for nothing. I'm just gonna go to this wedding and let my presence be known. I would love to just get Nicole alone and me and her can talk separate from Tia. It's funny that he says make himself be known because he does the exact opposite. He shows up and then he watches from a distance behind a tree while the ceremony goes on. Like, it's not really a wedding crash. And he wants to speak with Nicole one-on-one. -on -one. Imagine trying to do that directly after somebody's wedding. Because I, 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 I want to give Nicole at least one last option. Wow, you could be her one last option. That's really great. That's really romantic. I'm not kidding at all. He would have a higher success rate if he just picked a random wedding happening in the area and did the same thing. Yes, sir. 
damn, ain't nobody even outside. I'm trying to stunt, man. His neighbor comes out. He's like, hey, Deontay, you look nice. Where are you off to? Oh, hey, my girlfriend is getting married to her girlfriend, so I might show up and destroy their wedding and punch somebody in the head. All right, so the part we're going to look at next where Deontay confronts them after the wedding is the most incredible thing I've ever seen on reality TV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I present to you the happy couple. Let's get out of here. That's what. I feel like Deontay probably should have said something during the wedding, but you know, either way, he's got his chance right here to confront them. What do you think he's gonna say? I love your life now. You're stuck with me. You look beautiful. You look handsome. Nah. Did you catch that? It's very subtle, but if you look at the left side of the screen, you can just barely make out a Deontay-shaped figure. I'm just gonna go to this wedding and let my presence be known. This is pretty much the exact opposite of letting your presence be known, Deontay. I'm just gonna show up to this wedding and hide in the shadows behind a tree, and hopefully she comes looking for me. You look beautiful. You look handsome. Nah. What's up, man? <laughs> Big ass <laughs> I really yeah, do. Like this coffee mouth. And that's it. They just walk right by him. They didn't even notice him. I think for a moment, Deontay actually questioned his own existence. They treated him like an NPC whose quest they weren't interested in doing right now. What? What are you doing? Mother ball right yeah, here, yeah. dude. I don't know why you're here, but you need to leave. If you I want to be here for I support, do. right? Here comes this little mother behind a tree. No, Nicole. I'm leaving. No, no, no. Wow, this is going really well. So immediately they both just get all pissed off and he stands there and just stares at her. W was this the plan? Would you want me to show up to your uh, wedding to show my support? I wouldn't want you to show up nowhere where I'm at. If I show up, I'm gonna take your oh, Let's go. Yeah. Oh, Gia, stop! Uh, that's enough. Too much burger. So yeah, Deontay's plan didn't quite work out, but I think this was still the way he intended it to go. Anyway, now it is time to go back to where we were in the beginning because Deontay has moved on from Nicole into another shitty relationship. When Nicole first got out of prison, she moved in with her mom and then started texting her ex-boyfriend immediately. But Lindsay took it a step further. When she got out of prison, she moved in with her ex-boyfriend. Deontay's like, yes, we're together now and I love her, but it's kind of weird that she's moving in with some dude that she's banging. It sort of seems like it might be a red flag or something. I don't know. I haven't really told Deontay that I have warrants out for my arrest. I don't want to throw something away that just got started. Since when have a couple warrants stopped true love? How do people deal with this much drama in their lives? People are over here trying to find true love while they're dodging arrest warrants and they're on camera. You're, you're on, you're sitting here on camera talking about how you you have warrants out for your arrest. All right, so now she's hanging out in the car with this dude, Doug or something. I don't know what the hell his name is. But there comes a time where you want to draw a line somewhere. What if I left him in here this time and it would have been the time that he would have gotten straight? I'm like, saying, don't put yourself in jeopardy. You gotta remember, not only remember, now with yourself comes your child. All right, so I have no clue what they're talking about at all, but I do know a lot of people that watch this actually like these two together and thought Deontay should just be out of the picture. So I'm not entirely sure, but I think what happened was Deontay was suspicious about them, obviously, and then he finally caught them kissing and then a whole fight ensued. Yes. Bro, <laughs> this <laughs> What She told me she, been, she went home, boy. I knew it all along. And then she all mad because I'm uncomfortable about the whole I wonder why I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. Look what the Tell happened. Him. You know, this should be more dramatic, but compared to the whole Nicole thing, this is this is kind of nothing. I don't think she really asked for money, and she was actually pretty nice to him for the most part and was affectionate towards him, unlike Nicole. So yeah, he still got cheated on, but you know, I guess it's a step in the right direction. Sick of this man. Hi. What are you doing? Where are you at? Right around the corner. I'm done with love. Love. Trying to find it. I give up. Maybe just try to date somebody who wasn't recently in prison and just see what happens, you know? I'm not saying people in prison can't ever find love and I'm not saying people on a reality TV show can't ever find love. But what I am definitely saying is people who are in prison and on a reality TV show can never find love. Yeah, I'm good, dog. You done with it? Yeah. You done with it? Yeah. What? Uh, what? What the hell did he just say? No. All right, so prepare for round two of this video. Deontay and Doug are about to go at it. So what's up? Bro? What's going on? What's up, man? What's your downtown? What's going on over there? I don't want to talk right now, man. Huh? It's all right, dog. You got to just go. I'm over it. Remember, I told you it's a package deal. I'm in a love before and going to be after. So obviously, you couldn't hold up as a man or something. Dude, I have no idea what you're saying to me. I, I think I'm just going to leave, all right? What do you mean? I can hold up as a man, bro. First of all, don't ever challenge my manhood. Wait. Okay? Then what the 
the one that's the problem. Sideways. First of all, don't you ever come over to my car and start reenacting scenes from Red Dead Redemption 2. We all know nobody talks like that. I'm not gonna fight with you, relax. Come on, we're leaving. Man. Done. Don't call me anymore. You can be done all you wanna be, man. You dog. I'm Deontay. All right, so everything just fell apart before it even started. Lindsay rode off into the sunset with Doug, but at least Deontay gets some closure here. Deontay. Last night, after all the drama with Deontay, I finally had sex with Blaine. Me and Blaine have just been friends for so long. I didn't even, I never thought this would be a possibility. I really didn't. So essentially, Deontay is upset because she's living with this guy and he didn't know that until he showed up one day to meet her. Predictably, a bunch of drama ensued and she was like, oh yeah, you think that we can't have a relationship and I can't live with some guy? I'm gonna go have sex with him and then we'll see who's right or wrong. I don't wanna add in this, on this like really negative, bad way. I'm sorry that you got hurt in this. I'm <laughs> sorry that I, I hurt you, but. I, um, I've not been happy with you, Deontay. Like, I'm wow, so Deontay got cheated on again, but somehow it was still a huge step up from the last relationship. She's very polite and honest about it, at least. You didn't even give me a chance to make you happy, man. Like, be straight up. Like, be honest. I like how Doug is just waiting over there menacingly. Let's hit the road, babe. Let's ditch this bozo. Right now, I am, am broken and defeated. <laughs> Because every time I try, this is what happened to me. Don't worry, Deontay, there's always next season. What's good? 